Hello folks, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to troubleshoot in case of, uh, you know, any deployment issues in Jenkins. Okay, so this is my uh, Jenkins, which is up and running. I also have my Tomcat, uh, which is running here as well. Uh, I do have a build job. Okay, so this is my build job, which is a free sale job. I have configured uh, to deploy into Tomcat. So how do you troubleshoot, right? So let's quickly review the configuration here. Okay, so I'm actually checking out from uh, Git, okay, Git repository, and uh, this is how I want to trigger a bill. It doesn't matter, you can have Polysium or Webbooks, it doesn't matter. And then my bill, right, using Maven, okay, so this is my Maven goal. And uh, this is where I am deploying into Tomcat, okay, and this is, this is the Tomcat which is uh, now running over here, okay. So let me go ahead and run this uh, build now button, okay. Let's see, you know, what Jenkins is doing. Okay, as you can see, a deployment is failed, okay. So the first thing is, guys, and always remember, you have to click on your latest build number, right, and then click on console output, okay. So this would, uh, you know, actually give you a good view, right, you know, what is actually happening. So as you can see here, there are no issues, but there are some issues here, right? So it tells you that Tomcat deployment is failed, right? Failed to redeploy and whatnot, okay? And if you uh, scroll down further, this also tells you what is the issue, right? It says that username and password you provided are incorrect, okay? So there are a couple of ways to look into this issue, right? You might want to check your uh, Tomcat configuration, right? Uh, so let's go to Tomcat. I have already connected to my Tomcat over here, okay. So there is a file called a Tomcat users.xml file, right. So this is my Tomcat EC2 instance and then if you enter this command, this is going to show you um, what is your, uh, you know, configuration, right. So if you see here, I don't have a user configured. You see here, right, I don't have a user configured, okay. Uh, so what I have to do, let me go to uh, configure. and then go to post bill action. If you see here, I have, uh, you know, set up uh, some credential here, right? So I don't know, you know, it could be this issue or it could be this issue, okay? So what we have to do, we have to first add, uh, you know, the Tomcat credential in this particular file, okay? So I have documented all the, or not all, most of the troubleshooting issues, you know, in this uh, wiki page, okay? So if you scroll down, uh, you see here issue number four, okay? Or you can also look at issue number 13 as well. You see here Tomcat deployment fail, right? So this is exactly the same error we are getting, right? So I also mentioned what is the root cause and then fix. So if you see here what I'm saying, okay? So saying that make sure, you know, your credentials are uh, set up correctly by executing this command, right? So we are already there, but uh, if you compare the screenshot, you see here, I don't have uh, the credential set up uh, properly, okay? So that is what you have to do that, okay? So all you have to do is copy this, okay? And then go ahead and then paste that value here, right? So basically your username is Tomcat and password as the password, or you can give any password, but make sure you are entering the same password in Jenkins itself, right? And then you are saying that uh, manager GUI manager script. Uh, we don't have a manager GUI, so I'm just gonna say manager script, right? Okay, that's it, right? Okay, so once you uh, make the change, you must restart uh, Tomcat instance because you know in order to take changes uh, in effect, you have to restart. Tomcat, okay, and then you can also verify whether your Tomcat has been restarted or not by checking the status, right? So yeah, so everything is good. And then, you know, go back to your Jenkins, post bill action, make sure you have right uh, Tomcat credential. Um, we have added uh, Tomcat as a username and uh, password as a password, right? So you have to make sure that you have right uh, entries, okay? So let's uh, go here, 
okay so make sure you're adding tomcat as the username password as the password okay it's all lowercase that's what we see here right it is case sensitive so make sure you give a proper uh, the right uh, you know name so i'm going to say tomcat credentials updated right i'm going to say july you know 2020 okay so that we can you know select that from a drop down so add and then you know you can choose this one remember we provided this in the description so select that one and then say apply save okay i'm gonna go back and then say bill now okay so right now build is running Wow, as you can see, the build is a success, the deployment also success. So how to verify that? I'm gonna to go to my Tomcat. In the end, I'm going to add my web app name. Oh, you see here? So we were able to see the output. Right? So that's it guys. That's how you know, you're gonna troubleshoot in case of any issues during deployment to Tomcat from Jenkins.